Hey church. Hello. We're in our prayer room. Some of you might not even know, but we've got this wonderful 24-7 prayer room downstairs in the church building. It's been opened (laughs) opened a number of years and it's a facility for you and me to book into to pray. And uh, tomorrow or this week begins 21 days of a Daniel fast. And then the second week into that, we're going to have a week of prayer. And we really want to encourage all of us to engage in making sacrifices that equate to our desire to seek the Lord. You know, we can so easily sing songs like I seek you, you're the air I breathe, I I give you all my heart and all my life. And then find the dissidence in our hearts that we're not even prepared to give up a little bit for him, really, of our comfort our preferences and fasting is one of those ways that we kill the flesh yeah and we make a sacrifice i don't think anybody i've ever met loves fasting it's a it's a hard thing if, if you think oh well i you know the leaders or people that fast they must have a real grace and never feel hungry that's a lie you'll feel hungry you might feel a bit um quick tempered because you feel hungry um but let the grace to keep going be stronger than the yeah. desire to quit because it is so worth it. The fasting won't cause God to love you anymore, but it will position you to get a deeper, deeper revelation of the love of God in your life. When Daniel fasted in the book of Daniel, when he was doing the Daniel fast, he was fasting and mourning over the state of his country. An angel visited him. One of the first things the angel said was, you are beloved, you are dearly loved by God. He got a deeper revelation of the love of God. Even though he was mourning over his sins and repenting and asking God for breakthroughs, he got a deeper revelation. So you don't earn God's love, but expect to get deeper revelations from the heart of God. And you will be amazed by what God will say and do in you and through you. Yeah. In our daily reading plan today, we're looking at some of the parables that Jesus has told. And he actually says, I speak in such a way that people don't know what I'm saying. And it sounds a bit counterintuitive. Surely Jesus wants people to know what he's saying. But all of the time, he's saying things in a way that is designed to cause us to want to get closer to him and say, what do you mean? And these times of prayer, these times of fasting, are times for us to lean in and say, God, we want to know your heart. We don't want to know what you're saying. We want to know what you are desiring. And so as we start this 21 days of Daniel fasting. So Daniel fast, it's like vegan plus really. Um, it's it's vegan out, to the extreme. You, it's <laughs> it's um, a, a, a diet of, sort of fruit and veg. Obviously you can cook that and make all sorts of lovely dishes out of it. Um, but it cuts sugar out. There's no caffeine. And so your body does withdraw from that stuff, to be honest. And it's not simple, um, but it's a good detox for the body. Mm. But the fact that we are changing up our patterns and our behaviors it creates a posture that God, we lean in. You do lean in, and we you? want to hear from you. You lean in for His grace and His strength because you'll need that. It will draw you closer to the Lord as you yeah. lean in and that desire. He'll give you the grace to keep going, to keep going, keep going, and you'll even still potentially reap benefits after. Sometimes you'll get deeper clarity or a deeper sensitivity to the Lord. Maybe a couple of weeks after that. Um, so sometimes you get immediate breakthroughs. Sometimes you just get things that happen maybe weeks after that you thought, oh, nothing really happened while well, that Daniel fasted. But it was God was taking that heart of stone and taking it to be a heart of flesh, tenderizing yeah. your heart. So as we finish, just behind us is a painting that uh, the wonderful Helen Yousaf painted for us specifically here mm-hmm. at Rediscover a few years ago. And you can see that stairway to heaven, people mm-hmm. ascending Um, And it's our prayer, our vision that we would reveal the glory of God to the southwest and beyond, Mm -hmm. that many people will enter the presence of God this year. Mm -hmm. And how can we pass that on unless that's our experience? So come on, church, let's press in. Let's lean closer. Mm -hmm. Let's allow our hearts to go soft before the Lord. Let's give up some stuff for him as a way of saying, no, we're really serious about this, God. We want everything you've got for us. Bless you guys. And uh, we look forward to joining with you together in this Daniel fast. Bless you. Bye.